Hello everyone, it's Andrea and I'm here today with a car and chat because one of my subscribers suggested I do another one because I haven't done one for a while. So, and it's also Halloween, so I thought we'd do a Halloween car and chat. So, happy Halloween everybody. Um, so, I'm going to do a picture from Lacey Sunshine's Halloween colouring book volume 4, 30 Fun Witches, Pumpkins, Ghosts and Vampires to Colour um, by Heather Valentin. So I have chosen this picture because she's got a lovely big pumpkin. I've got, and you can't see this, but I've got all my supplies out. So I've got my sharpening pot where I put my sharpens. I've got my sharpeners. I have got millions of coloured pencils. I've got, well, not millions, obviously I don't own millions, but I've got my Derwent Colour Softs, my Prisma Colours, my Faber Castell Classics and a few Polychromos. Um, my Marco Refines, I've got my Erodotons, I've got my Derwent Metallics, I've also got my Pebbles Chalks. <sighs> Classic chalks here, in case I want them for the background later. Oops, just hit the camera and something fell on the floor, but never mind. So we are going to do this lovely little witchy lady. Um, and I um, am one of those people who have not decided what colours we are going to use, so we'll be sensible and do her facey first, I think. <laughs> so yes, so colour and chat. We haven't done one of these for a while. So, how have you been? Let me just give this a sharpen. I've been okay, I've been, well, I've been a little bit ill, but not too bad, so, you know, with, it's just sickness to do with having a baby and all that stuff, so, very exciting. So, I was watching a video the other day, um, as you know, I'm also bit of an amateur photographer. I love my photography. And I was watching this video the other day by uh, this YouTuber called King Dupes, or something like that anyway. And he does film photography and he was doing um, a how I got into film photography um, video about how he discovered film photography and it made me smile because although I do use digital. I was around before digital and it makes me feel so old. But I remember using film a long time ago. I started taking photos back in around 1985. I got my first camera and it was a terrible 110 cartridge camera that I used because I used to take it to school, take photographs of people in school and stuff. Um, and it just made me laugh how he, he got into it. I'm thinking, oh my God, he got into it a year ago and I've been doing it like for 30 odd years. Well, well, 32, I would say. 32 years. It's a long, long time. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I still do film. I do digital as well, which is why I, I am lucky. I have a good camera, digital camera for filming, because it's also camera I used to take photographs with when I'm using digital, but I do do a lot of uh, film photography. But yeah, it just makes me laugh, laugh when all these young people get into it and they think they're so cool. And they are, and I love them for it. I'm so glad they're keeping film alive. It does, just, just makes me laugh. Because I can remember before anything was digital, <laughs> you know. You only had film, you had instant film, you had Polaroid. But generally it was just film. Yeah. And I, I didn't want digital for a long time and then I, I got into it and I loved it. It's very convenient, it's very handy. Now of course we've got the um, I know, I've forgotten. Video and uh, film on the same cameras and, and camera phones. 
I mean, I can just remember before any of that happened. And it seems like it was yesterday. But it also seems like it was like a long time ago. And I'm not that old, so it can't be that long. So. So, yeah. <clears throat> she, yeah. Uh, So that made me laugh. So is there anything that you ever watch on YouTube or see anywhere that makes you think, oh my God, I remember when that was the only way of doing things. We didn't have digital. Now this is this horrible thing. I guess it's what you call create space paper. They don't call it create space paper in here. It just says printed by Amazon, but really really horrible stuff so it's not gonna be a brilliant picture oh I've also got my stickles handy and my glitter gels I don't know if I mentioned that because you know you gotta have some you gotta have some glitter right we need glitter yeah this paper's not the best not for these polychromos anyway So I got my candy already for, well, sweets as we call them in the UK, for uh, any trick or treaters that want to come round. Um, if they don't, I can eat them myself later. <laughs> yeah. Kind of naughty, but I really, 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 really love um, some of the sweets I've got, which are like the lollipops <laughs> double lollies I love double lollies so this is the first of the Lacey Sunshine books I've actually bought and I quite like it I'm um, the papers like I said the papers not brilliant but it's okay so we are now in the end of October. It's no almost November. So of course, next month is on booktube, non-fiction November, obviously, which I will be taking part in. Look out for my TBR. If I haven't posted it already. <laughs> um, I will probably post it actually on the 1st of November. It'll probably go up tomorrow. But, uh, I haven't even finalised what I'm going to be uh, using yet because, you know, uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give her like really neon pink hair because I can. So this is the Prismacolor Neon. Can we see that? Yeah, you can see that. For some reason, I've got the camera up really high. So I can't. Get in any closer. But I think if it's any closer, it'd be too close. So, so I'm going to give it a... So yeah, once we have got rid of, got rid of, after um, Halloween or so when, if that's uh, your preference, and I know there are people out there who, who do refer to it as that, I know some of them, um, we will be into November. Now, I know you guys in the States will be having Thanksgiving. Obviously, we don't do that over here because, <clears throat> obviously, not America. And uh, you, I'm assuming you'll be having some themes for that, which is really cool. I love watching all the themes. Um, over here we have Guy Fawkes Night, or Bonfire Night, which is the 5th of November. 
which um, commemorates the gunpowder plot of 1605 when Guy Fawkes and he's the most famous one uh, his crew tried to blow up the king and parliament and of course they didn't um, and ever since then we've had the gunpowder plot which is what it is we've had Guy Fawkes night and Guy Fawkes was one of the, the conspirators and uh, so we on or around November the 5th which is when it happened have bonfires and fireworks much like you do you have bonfires at Halloween and fireworks at uh, Thanksgiving we have them on November the 5th or around that time anyway I haven't done anything on bonfire night for a very long time and not because I don't like it I just don't I'd rather be in the house to be honest there's a lot goes on on bonfire night you know I'm in two minds with regards to fireworks because of animals don't like the noise and uh my mum has a dog who's a rough collie um who doesn't seem phased by it at all she just sort of goes and lies in the other room and sort of shrugs and this as if to say really honestly humans what are they like now her previously previous dog misty wasn't scared of them either but she would just constantly bark all night at the fireworks and it's not just on November 5th, it goes on pretty much from the weekend before November the 5th right up till New, just after New Year because obviously people have got them for New Year's as well um, and there's a guy who lives over the back of my mum who oh he sets them off all the time, it's so annoying it's just no consideration for anybody else really basically um, so Misty used to bark at them all the night, all night long. So <laughs> they used to build Misty a little nest in a cupboard under the stairs, which they got a very big cupboard under the stairs. It's not like my tiny little one. And they used to empty it out, make a big space, put her bed and her blanket in there and her water bowl, put the light on. Put some treats in there and they used to just close the door and let her sit in there and you know they'd keep an eye on her every now and again they'd go and check she was okay and but they, it was the only place where she wouldn't bark and all dogs are different because before Misty we had a dog called Penny who was a Saluki Spaniel cross oh she was a lovely dog I mean you might have noticed I like dogs I'm not gonna lie and now she was petrified of them. These two, the last two, nope, don't care. One barks, one just seems to say, really? Missy, now, Penny wasn't a small dog by any means. She wasn't a big dog, but she wasn't a small dog. And she would get so scared, she would go into the downstairs toilet, downstairs restroom, and she would try and get behind the u bed <laughs> Which is not easy because she's a bit too big for that, but and she was a funny dog. So I am sort of in two minds with fireworks. I like watching them, don't get me wrong, I do. I love seeing the fireworks go off. Um, but I'm also of the persuasion that I think that they should only be available to planned displays. I don't think the general public should be able to buy them but that's just me. Just because I I've seen how dangerous they can be and though a lot of people are responsible there are people who aren't and there are people who take the mickey like the guy over the back of my mum's who just sets them off constantly from the end of October through to middle of January for no reason just the fact that he's an asshole basically and you know there's no need 
so I kind of, although it's uh, a prearranged display, it's going to be expensive to get into for, obviously they've got to because they've got to obviously buy the fireworks, put on, um, they always put on refreshments, they've got to have stewards there who are first aid trained, they have St John's Ambulance, they need to charge a decent, you know, but I still think that they, they shouldn't be available to the general public, but that's just me. And, and everybody's entitled to an opinion. Um, that's not just to say that we never had had them when we were kids, because we certainly did have them when we were kids. Uh, I can remember we would either, if it was really cold, we'd sit and watch from the kitchen window, and my dad would go out and set off the fireworks. And we'd have a cup of hot oxo. Oxo is like uh, gravy granules. I don't know what you use to call it in, in a, like a sauce. Um, Oxo gravy granules in a mug. And, you know, we'd go outside and, and watch the fireworks. Or if it was really cold, we'd just sit in the window. I've also been to properly arranged displays. Um, when I used to live in Hitchin, Hertfordshire, uh, the hockey team Blue Hearts always put on a brilliant display really enjoyed their displays and there are several really good displays around us Tradiga Park has one um, then there's the ones uh, fireworks in the park at Cooper, Cooper's Field in Cardiff uh, there are some really good displays around here um, but if I want to watch them I just go and sit up in the leisure centre car park and I can just see fireworks go off all over the place because you're on the top of a hill so for miles miles and miles around you can see these um, um, fireworks going off and then it will be Christmas almost we'll be almost into December eh? Christmas I love so, we're just going to darken it up a bit by putting this little red, ready colour over it. What colour is that? Process red. Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to... And at work we always have a little Christmas carol concert where a good, good, good sized crowd from the, the business get together and rehearse for a few weeks. And at lunchtime we just go and stand in the foyer of the building and we sing Christmas carols or, and Christmas songs. So uh, last year we did Merry Christmas Everyone which was Shaking Stevens and we wish you a Merry Christmas, we always do and we'll come all ye faithful and it's just a really 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 nice time at work at Christmas. I really love it. Now I don't know when I'm going to be finishing from my maternity leave because I've been quite poorly <laughs> so I'm sort of tempted to finish early but I haven't decided um, if I do finish early I was thinking I might do vlogmas this year the reason I've not done vlogmas well last year was my first year on YouTube but the reason I didn't do it last year is just simply because of the shifts I work at work. The shifts I do are 8 to 4 and 10 to 6. So while on 8 to 4 shift it's not so bad. If I'm on a 10 to 6 shift by the time I get home the last thing I want to do is film. So I haven't bothered doing it because it's also finding enough content and stuff to 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 talk about when you you do something like vlogmas so I'm thinking if I'm off and I think I can finish quite early then I might do vlogmas because I can do all sorts of things um, I'll get an advent calendar and we can open the advent calendar on a daily basis um, colour and chat book overviews, Christmas shopping um, in Newport, into our local shopping centre and, and parties. Um, it's just because that 
the vlogging when you vlog the editing can take quite a while and yeah it's really really difficult so I want a purple 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 bright purple so I'm going to move on to the do end colour sauce now I'm still six short of a complete set of 72 but I will be ordering three next week um, three in the next day or so because I get paid today you can't see that because it's not focusing now but it's bright purple anyway um, and then three at the end of November and I'll have them all then so yeah so I'm thinking of doing vlogmas and we can end it at Christmas day can you see that yeah so I'm doing her tights purple and I'm gonna do them purple and green and uh Vlogmas. Vlogmas was what I was saying. Yeah, Vlogmas. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I might get a bit dim sometimes and I'm like, what am I talking about? So Vlogmas. That would be really nice. I do love Christmas. I will have a colour and supplies haul and book haul soon. Because I have ordered some more books and bits and pieces to show you. And I've had a few things come in the mail already, so I will show you that. And we can do a long, we can do a big Christmas colour and chat uh, vlogmas um, because I can spread it over several days. I've got some lovely Christmas colouring books coming. I've already got Joanna Bassett's Christmas. We love Christmas. So there's a, a lot of stuff going on. Obviously, we are currently preparing the nursery. Well, the room for the baby. Which is still freaky. Still can't believe I'm having one. But I am. <laughs> yeah. Strange. I know. But yeah, so we're currently doing that and getting all that stuff sorted, which is fine. Arranging, put our name down for a nursery already because they fill up so quickly around here. And the one I want, luckily for me, is right opposite my office. So I can put her name down for that. And yeah, it's all going well. So one of the things I ordered, or I'm going to order, are some more stickles. I do have stickles, but I don't have many, and I do have some other uh, colouring. No, just gonna have a look for uh, the right colour green. That might be some time. Oh, there it is. No, it's <laughs> one in the doings. Um, what was I gonna say? This is the thing with colour and chat. You've got to think of what to say all the time. And Ooh. so, um, yeah, I really do like the Derwent colour soft pencils. I would love the Holbeins. I've been watching Jenna over at Reading with Pugs and she's just recently got the Holbeins and they look fantastic. Um, I'm not joking, they do. They look absolutely amazing. But I can't afford them at the moment. Especially with a little P on the way. So maybe I will save up for them. Who knows? I was saying that I like the ones I've got. I love my Derwents and I love my Prismacolors. I haven't really used the Erodotons yet. Maybe we'll get them out in a bit. Who knows? But like I said, they, there's a set of books I've got. They've got a really soft, 
really smooth thing and I find that hard pencils go down better on that than the soft pencils so I will probably use them in that book that was in if you've seen it my completed pages video which shows pretty much every page I've ever coloured um, and then I'll, I'll save some more up and do some more because I stopped colouring for a bit because I was feeling so, so poorly. I was feeling so, so ill. Um, that I wasn't reading very much and I wasn't... I wasn't colouring. I was just too ill. I just felt too rough to absolutely do anything at all. So, I'm just having a look at what to do next. Oh, my neck just clicked. Uh, yeah, so it's been a bit hit and miss. Just dropped one of my pencil sharpens on the floor, so I'll just use a different one. That's a good job I've got off here, isn't it? So what are you guys colouring? Um, I haven't done much Halloween stuff because again, even though it's an old, old tradition, Halloween and trick-or-treating and that all started up in Scotland, it's not as big over here as it is in, in America. It's getting bigger, but um, it's not as big. I mean, I like Halloween. I, I can remember at various jobs dressing up. When I worked in the pub, I dressed up as various different characters. The zombie was my favourite one. The zombie was hysterically funny. Are they supposed to be like acorns or something on there? I don't know. These are oak leaves. There, very nice. I'm trying to think what color, I think we'll do her dress dark blue and black. So I'm just gonna turn this around, turn the dark the blues. Dark blue, Prussian blue, that's a new color. That's one of the ones I recently got that I haven't actually used yet. Let's have a look. a bit of hair as well. I can see where I've missed it so I'm just going to go in and do it. Just here look. So yeah I'm, I am being a bit more careful at the moment with money up so I tend to buy a few things at the beginning of the month, do pay my bills and then at the end of the month, if there's something left, then I'd buy a bit extra. But with Christmas coming, I have Christmas presents to buy. Now, I'm lucky in that I don't have millions of people to buy for. Obviously, next year we'll have our little girl, a baby. But that's okay. Um, but this year, it's still the only people I'd buy for. My mum and dad, my younger brother, Paul, and Paul's mum. And uh, they're the only people that I buy for. So, and we don't spend a lot of money on each other. We, we, we rather use it for things in the, the year, like holidays. And we're still renovating our house. <laughs> We've been in here years, but we still haven't finished it. Um, obviously, things are, are being prioritized. Like obviously we need to sort out of the baby's room and get baby stuff. But um, for instance, we need a new fridge freezer and a couple of chest of drawers for one for the baby's room and one for our room and we're hoping to get a new sofa by the end of the year you may be seeing me 
when I'm on my maternity leave. Sorry about that, I don't know what happened. Um, camera just stopped recording for some reason. Yeah, changed my mind there. Well, that's okay. It does that sometimes, I think uh, it overheats for some reason. If you're filming for a long time. Okay, something odd going out on outside there. What was that? That round 520. No. This one, that's the one I want. I'm going slightly crazy here. Me and my only. She's on the right one, yeah. Sometimes. So. So yes, you might see me um, doing hauls and things from the sofa once we get our new one. Just so we've got a bit of a change on the background. So there's all sorts of stuff on this. There's all sorts of um, little bats in her hair and I think I'm going to do those different colours. I was going to do them all black but nah. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm going to use an electric blue over this Prussian blue. There we are, just to give it a bit more colour. See that? Isn't she pretty? I not usually big fan of these cutesy girls. Um, I like my girls to look like real women, but I actually like this book. I'm actually sitting miles away from it. Normally I'd be like hunched over the top, but so she's pretty. I don't know how long this video is now because it stopped recording. I'm not going to know how long it is until I actually edit it together and, uh, put the um put it all together and, and export it but it could be quite a long one there we go so yeah i was asking you what you were coloring and what books you'd recently got coloring books uh, or what pencils um obviously i know jen you've got the whole mind you lucky girl but you deserve them um, I did see on Anne's channel, A Colourful Life, that she's currently using the budget friendly feeler pencils that they're under $30 in the States. Now over here they are currently on Amazon at $28.99 so I am quite tempted to get them. Just simply because there's so many colours and you've got all the metallics and she says she really likes them so so i'm thinking i will get those i still want the coin or tritones um but they're like 50 quid for the 24 it's 50 pounds we're looking at 80 dollars for them and you know i don't want them that much <laughs> at the moment so but I do have a lot of uh, colouring stuff on my Christmas wish list. Oh well, on my wish list on Amazon, which um, basically I give it to my my brother Chris because he does all the ordering for Christmas for my mum and dad's presents to give everybody. So he'll order. presents for me from my mum because they're a bit old fashioned and they don't like the internet which is fine I order stuff for my mum if she wants stuff so she'll say oh can you get me this I'm like yeah of course um, it doesn't bother me I use Amazon Prime to get everything nice and quickly well most things nice and quickly not everything but and uh, so I have Prime, Paul doesn't, 
So if he wants something quick, I say, oh, just go and use my Amazon. Just put the money in my bank account, but go and use my Amazon account. It's fine. I don't have a problem with it. So he'll, if he wants a book or something that's a, a new book, not a secondhand marketplace book, or uh, he ordered a drill. I'm like, oh, just order it online. You might as well get it with Prime. That's what it's for. <laughs> So yeah, I like my Prime. I might get rid of it after Christmas, but I might not because it's really handy. Um, I've been thinking of next year because obviously it's, it's going to be a bit di diff more difficult doing stuff uh, with a baby. With a baby. But I still can't get over saying that. You'll just have to bear with me because to me it's so odd that I'm having one. I'm happy, very happy, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it was planned, it was planned. But uh, for me, it's very odd. I can't wait though to meet her. Um, obviously, I'm not expecting a lot of time to sit around and read and color <laughs> in the new year once she's arrived. Although I know that Paul will help out and try and get me some time so I've got some time to myself when he's home from work and on the weekends and stuff. Um, but I thought that one of the things I could do is listen to audiobooks because they can just go on in the background. I can plug my phone. We got some uh, on our computer because our computer doesn't have speakers on it. We actually have freestanding speakers that you can plug into headphone into your phone or your iPod. Um, so I can plug my phone in and just have an audiobook playing in the background. So that's one of the plans for keep my reading up next year so I hope she likes to read as well <laughs> when she gets older she's gonna be surrounded with books and coloring and stuff like that so hopefully our little lady we've been told it's a girl it might be a boy but it's supposed to be a girl I don't care um will enjoy crafts and coloring and we can both sit at the table and colour together. That'd be nice. Let's say that she's going to have a lot of choices of hobbies because I've got so many. And I, I have got a lot of hobbies as, as well. You know. Um, but yeah, so I thought I could listen to audiobooks and uh, I can put them on speakers. I'm still listening. <laughs> I've been listening to it since April. I'm still listening to Stephen Fry read the definitive Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I, I was, I listen to them in, in work on over. If I'm doing overtime, um, because it's not on phones, it's, it's answering queries by mail, email. I tend to put my headphones on and either listen to some music or an audiobook. Because I can listen and type, and I don't type the same things. Only if I'm talking, I want to type what I'm talking, what I'm saying. But if I'm listening, I don't. I don't. Um, but I haven't done any overtime for a long time. There hasn't been any, and I've been ill. So I finished listening to the sign of four last week because I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I thought that might help me sleep if I put it on. It didn't. So, uh, but I, I finished the sign of four, which was good. And now we're on to the short story collection, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. So I do have another four books once I finish the Sherlock Holmes collection, which is a long way off. I'm not going to lie. I've got uh, the two Sarah J, well, the, the, you know, the Sarah J Mass series, Court of Thorns and Roses, Court of Mist and Fury, Court of wings of ruin or whatever it is i've got all three of those i've listened to the first one i've got the next two and then i've also got um the lost symbol by dan brown because i never read it and is it the lost symbol or inferno i'm not sure i want to say the lost symbol and uh, i downloaded origin because that came out so i got plenty to listen to um so I get one audible credit a month. I've still got four left because I only, uh, I tend to be one of those people that only download something when I actually want to listen to it. 
but with the, the Dan Browns, I thought I do want to listen to them, but I'll forget, so I'll go and get them. So there may be a couple more that I'll, I'll go and get before then. But uh, I don't know. I've only listened to like two other completed books. Obviously, I've listened to the Sh I'm listening to Sherlock Holmes, and they are completed books, but it counts as one definitive collection. Um, and that was Blake Crouch's Dark Matter, and the first of the Sarah J. Mass ones, which I did enjoy. I'm not gonna lie, it was very good. I have, you know, I, I'm I do prefer to read, but I'm just thinking it's not going to be very easy to read. Um, I started listening to the audiobooks. The reason I signed up for audio was audible was I used to listen to it while I was colouring because I'd sit there with Paul and he'd be watching say the football, which I hate because I hate sports. Less, I, I like like the Olympics and I like the Winter Olympics and that's about it really. Um, but other than that, I'm not a sport in person at all. So I he'd watch the sport and rather than just go upstairs and colour or read I'd sit there and I'd colour with him and I'd listen to my audiobooks and I, that was nice I haven't done that for a while because he's sort of gone off watching the sport now <laughs> he, he likes to follow football and when I say football, I mean soccer, if you're in America. So proper football, you know. Not that American football's not proper football, it's just not what we call football, if that makes any sense. So he um, used to watch a lot of football, but now he, not so much. So. So begin there slowly. I don't think I'm going to get to finish this on this colour and chart, so I will probably finish this off camera. And the only reason I'm saying that is just because this this has got to be 30 minutes long now, which is fine. I can go another 10, 20 minutes, but no, I wasn't going to do that blue. I was going to use a different blue because then it would be different. That made no sense whatsoever. But yeah. So I'm actually quite enjoying doing this little little witch on a pumpkin. I know I'm not the best colourist, but I just it's for fun. It's all fun. It's not not serious. I don't take anything seriously, too seriously. Life's too short. My photography's for fun as well. That's why on this channel I, I don't just make videos about colouring or books because I have too many interests to just say right I'm going to devote my entire life to this. I, I just love so many different things. I have my photography, I have my Marilyn Monroe collection, I have my colouring, I have my reading, I have my theatre. That's why sometimes you will see stuff that is photography related, sometimes it'll be theatre related, and sometimes it'll be Marilyn related. So for instance, the, the Marilyn scrapbooks. I, I mean, I've been really enjoying doing those, looking through those. Um, so I find that the Marilyn videos, they tend to get a lot of views. <laughs> a lot of Marilyn people out there. But my life is not just Marilyn, same as it's not just colouring, it's not just reading. It's not just photography. So that is why you will see lots of different things on my channel because I have so many hobbies and I, I really don't just want to do a video about one thing okay 
okay. So I do ramble on about a load of rubbish in these videos, so I'm surprised anybody would want to watch me talk to myself about... Yeah, these curl softs go on quite well on this paper. You can't see what I'm doing. Let me ask her. So I'm colouring the pumpkin. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting the new colouring books I've ordered. I'm not going to tell you what I've got. There are two that have arrived and there's another four coming and I'll probably order some more when I finish this video because it's payday. So yeah, it may seem a bit weird, payday. That's actually a bit of a skirt. I'll just pop that bit in there. Um, on the 31st because it's a Tuesday, but we're paid every last working day of the month, which is fine. So some days it's Friday, some days it's Monday, some days it's Tuesdays, and so on. So it's fine with me. As long as I get paid, I don't care what day it is. Um, so yeah, I get paid earlier in December, obviously, because of Christmas. Yeah, we um, do we get paid on the last working day of the month, so I will be ordering some Christmas presents. Like I said, I order for my mum, I buy for my mum, my dad, Paul, my brother, and Paul's mum. I know I've got my mum's, some of my mum's stuff, most of it, because we don't buy, like, spend a huge amount. It's more about being together and having a nice day and being together and... Yeah, we're, we're quite old fashioned like that. We, we don't, money's not important, so. So mum is, my mum's present is pretty much sorted. I just gotta get one more thing, maybe two. Paul, I kinda know what he wants, so I kinda know what I'm gonna get him. I've just gotta sort that out. And my dad, he wants a new electric razor. His has gone home. His has gone, doesn't work very well anymore. So I'm going to get him one of those, I think. Among other things. I need to get him some sweets. I mean, there's always sweets around, but I get him special sweets because he loves fudge. He's the only person that does. And some alcohol. So he likes Captain Morgan's spiced rum. The only thing with uh, Christmas and, and that is that uh, their birthdays, Chris and my brother Chris and my dad, the birthdays fall very close, so. Yeah. With Chris, Chris makes that life very easy. He just goes onto Amazon, orders a load of stuff for himself, sends it to my mum's house with his name on it, or with my mum's name on it, and she opens it up, and then we just go and pick things from there. <laughs> and uh, yeah. We pay him the money, so he actually gets gift, a gift on his on Christmas and birthday. But uh, he, it's just like making a list, really. It's just the list actually physically arrives. Anything we don't give him, he buys himself. So, but as I was saying about their birthdays, being very close to Christmas, you can't get much closer because my dad's birthday is on Christmas Eve, which is why his name is Stephen. And my brother's birthday is Boxing Day, and his name is Christopher, because he was due on Christmas Day, which makes sense. He just decided to come late. So his birthday is Boxing Day, so yeah, it's very, very close together. So, but again, Dad's birthday, jumper and alcohol. He gets a lot of alcohol over Christmas. 
because Chris will probably get him some brandy. I'll get him some Captain Morgan's and possibly some Malibu. She likes Malibu. None of them watch this channel, so it doesn't matter. They're not going to know. They're not going to know. So. You can do those patches in different colours, I think. As you can see, I'm not being really careful with these lines. This is just for fun. So that's what's going on with me and my plans for Christmas. Hopefully, I like I said, hopefully I'll be able to do Vlogmas and we'll open up an advent calendar page together. I'll get a decent one, not just a chocolate one, I'll get one with presents in it. Yay! Like boots, the chemist, they do some really nice ones. I've missed a bit, I've missed a bit. I'm just in between her stocking. There we go. Ha ha ha. So, that's pretty much it for me. What have you all been up to lately? Are you colouring or reading? Any recommendations again for colouring books that I should buy perhaps? I don't buy off of Etsy or places like that. I do tend to just stick with Book Depository or Amazon. The reason being is the cost of shipping. Oop, my phone's going off, it's probably poor. So, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to wish you all a very happy Halloween. And the next time you see this will be when I show it. I'll probably show it in my next colour and chat, actually, once I finish it. I'll show it in colour and chat, but you'll also see it in my wrap-up. But so far, there's my little girl. With her lovely pink hair. And we didn't get to use everything. We haven't put no stickles on, but she'll be all stickled up by the time you see her next. So... I hope you've enjoyed this colour and chat and I will see you very soon with a bookish video, a colouring book haul hopefully, and who knows what else, lots of other stuff, and another colour and chat. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, little interlude into my life and I will see you soon. So don't forget to comment, share, like, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye!